Hello my dear children. Today we are going to discuss Formula Unit 17 in Grade 9. Through this lesson, you will be able to define the term formula, identify the subject of a formula, change the subject of a formula and find the value of a variable term in a formula when the values of the other variables are given. Okay children, let's do a small activity to get an idea about formulae. Now, you can see a rectangle with length and breadth A and B respectively. If the perimeter of the rectangle is P, let's build up a relationship for P in terms of A and B. Who can give the answer for this? I can tell the answer for that. In a rectangle, perimeter is the length around it. Then, P equals A plus A plus B plus B. So, P equals 2A plus 2B. Then, P equals 2 times A plus B. The relationship is P equals 2 times A plus B. This is in another activity. Again, you can see a rectangle with length A and breadth B. If the area is given by capital A, see what is the relationship we can write for A in terms of A and B. I can solve this data. The area of a rectangle can be calculated by multiplying its length and breadth. So, area equals length times breadth. Therefore, A equals A times B. So, the relationship is A equals A times B. Now, we have built two relationships for the perimeter of a rectangle and the area of a rectangle. Perimeter P equals 2 times A plus B. Area A equals A times B. These kind of relationships are known as formulae in mathematics. Then, let's discuss what formula is. A mathematical relationship among two or more quantities are given in symbols is known as a formula. Now, you can see some formulae in mathematics and science. Great mathematician Leonard Euler found a Mathematical relationship among the number of vertices, number of edges and number of faces in a solid. Can you remember that? It can be written as follow. Number of edges equals number of vertices plus number of faces minus 2. If the number of edges are given in E, number of vertices are given in V and number of faces are given in F, Euler's formula can be written as follow. E equals V plus F minus 2. In formulae, usually an individual term can see in one side of the equal sign. Let's identify subject of a formula. The subject of a formula is the variable which is expressed in terms of the other variables. Usually, it is on the left side of the equal sign. For an example, in the formula P equals 2 times A plus B, the subject is P. Also, in the formula Y equals MX plus C, the subject is Y. In the formulas, we can change the subjects. In this part, we are going to discuss how to change the subject of a formula. Let's discuss it through an example. Example 1. In the formula, y equals mx plus c, change the subject into c. So, first of all, we have to consider how the right side of the expression is made. In this formula, mx is added to c. The term mx is added to c. Then children, to make C as a subject, we have to 
remove the term mmix. So, how to remove the term mmix? We have to follow the inverse process of that. So, we have to subtract mmix by the both side of the formula. Now, see the steps of that. Let's subtract mmix from both sides of the formula to make c the subject. The formula is y equals mx plus c. Now you have to subtract mx from the both side of the formula. Then you can have c as a subject. c equals y minus mx. Okay. Now let's move on to the second example. In the formula y equals mx plus c, change the subject into m. Let's consider how the right hand side expression is formed in related to m. We can explain it as c is added to the product of m and x. Or on the other hand we can say m multiplies by x and added c. So to make m as a subject we have to remove c and x. First you have to remove c and then you have to remove x. Let's see how to remove c. C is added. So, you have to subtract C from the both side of the formula. To remove X, you have to divide both side of the formula by X. Now, let's consider the steps of that. Changing the subject into M. First of all, you have to subtract C from both sides of the formula. Y equals MX plus C. After subtracting c from both sides, you can see y minus c equals mx. Now we have to remove x. For that, divide both sides of the formula by x. Now what happened? y minus c divided by x, also mx divided by x. So you can cut x and x there. What are the remaining terms now? y minus c over x equals m. Now you can see a new formula with the subject m. m equals y minus c over x. Next example. In the formula s equals n over 2 a plus l change the subject into n. For that let's, let's consider right side of the formula how formed in related to n? There, n multiplies by a plus l and divide by 2. To make m the subject, we have to follow the inverse process of above steps. That means, multiply both sides of the formula by 2 and divide both sides of the formula by a plus l. Let's see the steps of above example. First, you have to multiply both sides of the formula by 2. Through that, you can cancel 2. 2 and 2 you can simplify. So, what are the remaining terms? 2s equals n times a plus l. Now, we have to remove the expression a plus l by dividing both sides of the formula by a plus l. The simplification you can see like this. Now what happened? We can have a new formula as a subject m. n equals 2s over a plus l. Next example. Change the subject of the formula v equals u plus a t to a. Right side of the formula is formed in related to a is Adding u to the product of a and t. On the other hand, we can say a multiplies by t and added u. So, when following the inverse process of the above steps, we can make the subject a. That means, subtract u and divide by t. See the steps. Subtract u from both sides. Now, what happened? v minus u equals a t. Now we have to divide both sides of the formula by t. 
P and T we can cut. Then we have a formula with the subject A. A equals V minus U over T. Now example 5. Make in the subject of the formula of L equals A plus N minus 1 times T. Right. Right side of the formula is formed related to N is subtract 1 from N and multiply it by D and add it A for that. To make N as a subject, we have to follow the inverse of process of above steps. That means first you have to subtract A, then divide by D and after that add 1. Now see the steps of that. Subtract A from the both side of the formula. Then you have L minus A equals N minus 1 times T. Then you have to divide both side of the formula by D. What are the remaining things then? L minus A over D equals N minus 1. Now you have to add 1 to the both side of the formula. And then you can see the final answer as a subject in L minus A over D plus 1. Example number 6. Change the subject of the formula P equals A T over A minus T into A. This formula is somewhat different than the previous examples we have discussed. Why is that? We here we have to change the subject into A. But we can see A is in two places of the formula. So at first we have to take all A terms into one side of the formula. For that you have to multiply both sides of the formula by A minus T. Uh, then you can simplify it like this. Then what happened? We have P times A minus T equals A T. But still A terms are in either side of the formula. We have to take them to a one side. So A T term we have to take on to the left hand side. Then you have P A minus A T equals P T. Now A is common for both P, A and A, T. So you can take A as the common factor. So we can write it as A times P minus T equals P, T. Now we can easily take A as the subject of the formula. How can we do that? We have to remove P minus T expression from that side. For that you have to divide both side of the formula by P minus T. Then A become as a subject, then A equals PT over P minus T. Substitution. Let's see what is substitution. The value of a variable in a formula can find by substituting the values of other variables. Right, now let's See how to apply this substitution for the problem solving. Example 1. Find the number of edges in a solid with only straight edges with 6 vertices and 5 faces. We can find the answer by using the Euler formula. What is Euler formula? E equals V plus F minus 2. But here we know the number of vertices and number of faces. So, if we take the number of vertices as V, V equals 6. If we take number of faces as F, F equals 5. Then we can substitute those two values to the formula. What happened? Then E equals 6 plus 5 minus 2. We can simplify it further. E equals 11 minus 2. Then E equals 9. So, in this solid, there are 9 edges. So, by substituting, we can find a value of 1 variables 
by using the other variables. And also children, there are two methods can use to do the substitution in a formula. Let's discuss that two methods. Method 1. Keep formula in the given way and substitute the values for given variables and find the unknown variable. Method 2. Change the variable which wants to find the value as a subject and then do the substitution. Let's apply about two methods for substitution. Right, now see how to apply those two methods to solve problems. Let's discuss those two methods by using this example. Find the number of vertices in a solid with 7 faces and 12 edges. Let's see how to apply method 1. Use the given formula and substitute the values. What is the formula? We can write here E equals V plus F minus 2. So we know the value for F and we know the value for E. F equals 7 and E equals 12. So you have to substitute those two values to the formula. Now then you can simplify it further. 12 equals V plus 5 and when simplifying that we can have the answer for V as 7. That means the number of vertices of this solid equals to 7. Let's do this same example by using method 2. That means we have to change the subject into V and substitute. The formula is E equals V plus F minus 2. To make the subject V, first you have to remove 2 by adding 2 to the both side. Then you have E plus 2 equals V plus F. Then you have to cancel F by subtracting F from both sides of the formula. Then you have V equals E plus 2 minus F. Now you can see a formula with the subject V. Now we can do the substitution. They are also E equals 12 and F equals 7. When simplifying that, again you can have the answer for V as 7. So the number in this solid is 7. Next example, in the formula L equals A plus N minus 1 times T, if L equals 22, A equals minus 5 and N equals 10, find the value of D. Let's follow the method 1 to get the answer of this. The formula is L equals A plus N minus 1 times D. We can give 22 for L, minus 5 for A and 10 for N. So, how to simplify this? We have to add 5 for both sides to remove minus 5. So, by simplifying that, you can have 27 equals to 9D. To obtain D, again you have to divide both sides by 9. Then you can have the value for D. Then D equals 3. Example number 4. If S equals minus 330, A equals 15 and L equals minus 48 in the formula S equals N over 2 times A plus L, then find N. Write down the formula first. Then you have to substitute the given values. Start to simplifications. So, minus 330 equals N over 2 times minus 33. Now you have to cancel 2 first by multiplying both sides by 2. Then what you have remain? 2 times minus 330 equals N times minus 33. Then you have to cancel minus 33 by dividing both sides of the equation by minus 33. Now you can see the simplification. So what are the remaining terms? 2 times 10 equals n times 1. Uh, then we can find the value for n. n equals 20. Now we have discussed all the contents related to formulae unit 17 grade 9. 
Further, you can refer Grade 9 Mathematics textbook and do the exercise 17.1, page number 98, and exercise 17.2, page number 101. Thank you and good luck.